What's going on guys? My name is Zach Williamson. I'm a realtor here in the Harrisburg area and today I'm here with my buddy Ethan Daubert. He's from Cross Country Mortgage and we're going to tell you guys a little bit about how the market's doing here in December of 2022. Hey guys, again Ethan Daubert, Cross Country Mortgage out of the Hershey area. Um, here to help, here to serve, here to figure out what's going on in the market, answer some questions and hopefully give some tips and tricks. So Ethan, right now it's it's been a little hectic for first time home buyers the last couple of years, right? Yep. So um, how would you go about, if, if you were thinking about buying maybe this year or next year, what are, what's your thought process right now for a first time home buyer? Yeah, I think right now is a, a great time for a first time home buyer to, to get into the market. Um, the market's settling a little bit in terms of buy side, sell side, and who's, who's got the leverage. So um, a couple of years ago, even going into a couple months ago, it was tough for a first time home buyer. You yeah. had to be very, very, uh, well qualified, you had to have a very, very strong deal. And we're starting to see some stuff now where you might be able to ask for some seller assist or you might be able to go with a longer closing and some different uh, loan options that weren't being widely accepted previously. Yeah, I think in, in just my personal experience, boots on the ground side of things, um, I've seen a lot of people get approved and, and get offers under contract now that are, are FHA buyers or um, maybe they have a VA loan, something that was not really possible last year. but here's the thing a lot of people are wondering is like okay that's great that like it's easier for me to get a house but interest rates yep. I mean, interest rates are going to the moon it feels like like dogecoin a couple of years yeah. ago right yeah. so yeah so so how should we be looking at um you know the market right now as far as interest rates are go yeah so interest rates are a hot topic and they've, they've been a hot topic and they're certainly different than they were a year ago um they are cooling off mm -hmm. we do and now no no <laughs> promises here yeah uh but we do feel like they have peaked for the time being and right. actually the past knock on wood, right? knock on wood <laughs> uh we're at december now yep. we had a, a really good report based on inflation come out about three weeks ago mm -hmm. that has helped push the interest rates some of the interest rates back down yeah um so what we, are you seeing right now as far as interest rates go are, are we at eight percent seven percent yeah i mean there's there's an eight percent rate on the rate sheet, but that's the last rate. Uh, okay. we're, we're more likely currently in the mid to high sixes. You'll mm -hmm. see some low sevens, mm -hmm. um, but you're also potentially, depending on your deal, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the structure and, and the type of deal, you might see a five today. Yeah, yeah. Or very soon. We, we would love to see some fives again. Now, yeah, here, here's something people are wondering is like, you know, Ethan, I was looking for a home, uh, you know, last year or two years ago, and I was promised a 2.8, I was promised a 3.2. Are we ever going to see those come back if we have a market crash, which, you know, everyone is talking about the market yeah. crash, right? Are we going to yeah. see 2.8s, 3% again, in your opinion? In my opinion, yeah. no. Yeah. In my opinion, no. Um, they, those, those rates are, are labeled historically low. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means because it's probably never going to happen again. Something right. that happens um, <clears throat> in history it is a point in time where <laughs> yeah. it's unlikely that we're going to see it again. Yeah. You know, so twos and threes uh, certainly right now are out of question. Right. Uh, will we ever see them again? I, I, it's very doubtful. Yeah. Yeah. A, a, a wise person explained it to me this way. They said, you know, it took a worldwide pandemic to Correct. do it the first time. Correct. So if we are seeing two or three percent again, it probably means that something really bad happened. Yeah. It probably yeah. means a war or something yeah. crazy. Yeah. Or, yeah. And that's the unforeseen know. part of it that is my disclaimer that I don't yeah. I don't know, but I don't think so. Right. Yeah. So so me and Ethan are in the same boat on that one. So so in your opinion, are we going to see some kind of market crash. I know all the, all the doomsday people online are saying, oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Wait till the market crashes. What, what's your take on a, mar on a market crash? Right. Yeah. So I, I don't see a, a market crash. Um, I think it's a basic supply and demand issue at this point in time. And as long as we still see low supply and high demand, we're still going to see home prices continue to appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my take too. I mean, we, we're still seeing very low supply in comparison to pre-pandemic numbers. Um, so it's, I, I think it's very unlikely that we're going to see some kind of crazy amount of homes into the market um, with some kind of like, I don't know, foreclosure or whatever people are saying. Uh, it does not really seem likely to me either. Yeah. So a lot of people are, you know, doom and gloom about the market right now. We've seen a lot of people back themselves out of a home search. But in your opinion, in, in what you've what you've experienced lately, is there any hope for first time home buyers or for, or for young people right now? to be able to get into a home that they like at an affordable rate. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I think that there is 
the ability for a lot of folks to get into a home right now. There's a lot of different products out there. Um, again, we are starting to see rates fall back a little bit into place. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing some price cuts yes, as well. True, true. Um, not depreciation, price cuts, mm -hmm. which are two different things. So as those prices uh, you know, drop a, a bit from what it might be listed at, it's going to become a little bit more affordable. I think there's more leverage on the buy side mm -hmm. right now uh, where we might be able to ask again for some seller assist which could help you pay for a lower rate potentially yeah uh, and with that being said you know it's it's going to become more affordable or it is becoming more affordable for folks yeah so we've seen nationally a lot of crazy stuff going on in the market we've seen you know how inflation's influenced the market and how the fed has influenced the market but what are you seeing as far as just specifically in the greater harrisburg area mm -hmm. how are we responding and how is our how has our market been affected in comparison to like nationally? Yeah, so I mean, our, our market is, is resilient uh, and, and it's inherently resilient, it's historically resilient and I think it's resilient right now mm -hmm. as well. Um, there's some pockets elsewhere, bigger cities, metro areas, they're feeling some of, some of the pressure a little bit more. They're feeling, you know, some significant cuts um, more, way more than Harrisburg or, or any of, of Central PA is feeling. Sure. So in terms of our area specifically, I think we're still going strong. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, back to some of the supply and demand, but um, you know, I'm sure you're experiencing multiple offers on, oh, on yeah. homes still. Yep. Um, homes that are priced right right yeah. now that aren't you know too astronomically high and, and are at a competitive uh, price point, mm -hmm. they're they're going off the market. Yeah. In in a, in a short amount of time. Yeah, I think just just from my experience, guys, I'm I'm still seeing I might take a, a buyer to a house that's priced pretty well, or maybe a little bit undercutting the market, and that house is flying off the shelves like that. I mean, we're still talking about three days, four days where a house might go under contract. That is not a sign of a market crash. That is not a sign of some kind of market that is flipping in the buyer's favor. These are still competitive homes if priced correctly. And the stuff you're seeing uh, slide down is normally a seller who was trying to gouge the market, trying to, t t trying to uh, profit a lot higher off their home than they probably can now. Um, maybe they could have in 2020 or 2021, but they can't anymore. Um, so that's really what I'm seeing a lot of the time. Yeah. So we've talked a little bit about how interest rates have went up a lot and that's making things a little bit you know, less affordable for a buyer, right? Um, but what are some of the ways that we can structure an offer or make it more affordable and how, how can they win financially in this market right now? Yeah, so that's a great question. I think that, you know, uh, we are, again, we're, we're seeing some price cuts and, and so there has to be some conversation in my opinion with, with the selling agent or, or the selling party Mm -hmm. If they're potentially, if that home's been sitting for a little bit, no offers, and they're potentially going to drop their price, might be a good idea to offer something that they keep their price, but you ask for some seller assist. Yes. So that seller assist is going to be some money back in your pocket as the mm -hmm. buyer. Can you explain briefly why you would want seller's assistance Absolutely. as opposed to money off? Yeah. So seller's assist is going to give you the opportunity to kind of reallocate your, your funds, and you can now all of a sudden use some of the funds that you would have used for closing or your down mm -hmm. payment and put it towards a lower rate. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple different products that we call them two, one buy downs. That, that's a product. Um, mm -hmm. Just buying points. That's a product. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely talk to your lender about what that looks like. And you want to consider long term versus short term, how long you're going to be in the home. Does it make sense to do it? Right. There's a break even point for those things. So certainly talk to your lender about it. But you can get a little bit creative, a little bit more creative in this market right now. Yeah, in, in my experience, guys, I've, I've had moments where um, if we left the purchase price where it is and we give the seller what they want as far as the purchase price goes, sometimes we can get up to like 6% of the home's value off in seller's assistance and make it very cheap for you to be able to get into this house as far as closing costs are concerned and be able to buy down some of your rate like Ethan was talking about to get that lower interest rate too for the time being until you know if and when interest rates go back down. Yeah, for sure. And, and in, you know, in reference to the, the ability to offer a little bit differently now, there's also a state run program as mm -hmm. well. Uh, PHFA, it's called a little bit of a longer closing, but that gives the buyer some money back in their pocket as, as well. So, um, you know, before a longer closing is no way we're not we're not we're not doing that. We're taking our cash and we're, we're right. running. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah. now it's a little bit different again, potentially keep the, the purchase price the same get some help, a grant from the state, um, and you know, put some money back in your pocket on closing day. Definitely. 
all right, Ethan, so maybe I'm a buyer who I really want a house and I'm thinking about buying in the next year. Maybe, maybe I, I want to buy this winter, but I'm not sure if the market's, you know, right, the right time or not. Should I look maybe this summer or maybe next winter? Like, should I be trying to time the market and figure out, uh, you know, when the best interest rate's going to come or, or should I start looking now? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it don't time the market. <laughs> don't time the market. It, yeah. It's, it's near impossible to time the market. You know, I, I, we're coming off of, or, hopefully coming off of, you know, the, the COVID era right. that we had. Yeah. Not a fun era. <laughs> no, not a fun. And who, and, and who knew that was going to happen? Exactly. You know, nobody could have predicted that that's going to happen. So to, to, so for somebody to have tried to time the market during that point in time, it's, it's next to impossible. We don't know what's going to happen. You buy right. when it's right for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you can always make adjustments and pivots down the road. Uh, I think right now is, is a great time. Yeah. We're sort of, again, we're at this like point where we're starting to see rates back off their yeah. highs a little bit. It's not as competitive as it was right. for sure. It's much easier to get a house right yeah, now. It, yeah. You know, winter is, is uh, typically a time, or colder months is typically a time where not as many folks are buying. So I just think right now you have a good chance, yeah. a better chance. You know, once we start seeing rates fall a little bit, mm-hmm. a little bit more, and, and we get to the spring slash summer market, yeah. it's gonna become more competitive again. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just just in my experience, this, the summers are always gonna be where people are really shopping. And so you might be competing with three other people in a house that you could have got back in December with no competition and seller's assistance and you know a whole bunch of perks in your deal. Right. Yeah. All right, Ethan, so any, any final thoughts on the market as it stands right now? Yeah, uh, buy wins right for you. You know, mm-hmm. um, but again, don't don't necessarily time the market or try to time the market. If you're ready to buy, maybe your lease is coming up. Mm-hmm. Maybe you've hit that threshold in your savings account. Right. <laughs> uh, the, that type of home that that you like, you're seeing it pop up more and more. Yep. Go after it. You know, talk to talk to a lender. Get yourself pre-approved. Yep. Um, hit up Zach. Get out there and start seeing some properties. Uh, you know, it's it's again, it's very it's very hard to say when the right time is. Yeah, life is life. A lot of things happen. True. Buy when you're ready. If you're feeling comfortable, talk to somebody uh, about buying. Get some background information. Get yourself educated, uh, and go from there. Yep. Yeah, I, I would just echo all those things and say that. Um, you know, even, even when you try to time the market, guys, it typically doesn't work out. You typically don't time it correctly. A lot of people thought they were buying, you know, at the best time ever two years ago. And then they found out that actually, you know, my interest rate was great, but there's problems with this house. I couldn't get inspected at the time. So there's, there's going to be ups and downs and there's going to be pros and cons in every market you're, with, you're in. Um, so try to just do the best when it's right for your family to move. All right, guys. So this has been our December market update with me and Ethan. Um, If you guys like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. Also, comment any questions you'd like us to answer next month. Um, But, yeah, that's it. Yeah, appreciate your feedback. Thanks, guys. See ya.